सो हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट परफॉर्मेंस मेट्रिक्स इन मशीन लर्निंग परफॉर्मेंस मेट्रिक्स इन मशीन लर्निंग सो वेन वी टॉक ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस मेट्रिक्स इन मशीन लर्निंग बेसिकली दे आर ब्रॉडली कैटेगराइज इन टू टू कैटेगरीज वन ऑफ दैम इज फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम्स क्लासिफिकेशन एंड अनदर वन इज फॉर रिग्रेशन as we already know about classification and regression so we know that classification is done uh, on the categorical variables and regression is basically done for continuous variables fine uh, so talking about classification which categorizes the data into different different classes and uh, when we talk of regression simply means making the predictions so each of the task problem is divided basically either into classification or regression not all the matrix can be used for all type of problems hence it is important to know and understand which matrices should be used different evaluation matrix used both regression and classification in this topic we will discuss the matrix for uh, both classification as well as for regression so when we talk of classification matrices they are the uh, problem that categorize in data into different classes the model learns from the given data set and then classifies the new data into the classes or groups based on the training it predicts the class labels as the output such as 0 on 1 yes or no spam or not etc and this classification matrix are further categorized into multiple types uh, one of them is accuracy this matrix then we have a confusion matrix in this category we have precision and recall precision and recall and then we have auc and roc uh, in today's lecture we will have a brief introduction of all of them and uh, also i have a detailed video on confusion matrix precision recall auc and roc and then when we talk of regression in regression we again know that they are of different types performance matrix are there and when we talk of regression matrix we have r2 ar2 that is advanced level for all such things and then we have mae mse mean squared error mean absolute error root mean squared error so all such things uh, are the performance matrix that are used for regression so let's discuss uh, with them in detail so firstly we will discuss about the classification matrix and the very first one in this case in classification matrix when we talk of this classification matrix the very first one is the accuracy एग्जिट नहीं हो रहा बाइट बोर्ड का क्या करूं ओके okay, हो रहा है ना the very first matrix in classification uh, classification category is the classification accuracy so when we talk of this classification accuracy it is simply the basic uh, method the or the matrix to calculate the accuracy or the performance of the model this accuracy matrix is one of the simplest classification matrix to implement and it can be used used for determination as the number of correct predictions to the total number of predictions as we can see in the formula number of correct prediction divided by total number of prediction made it uh, to implement accuracy matrix we can compare 
द ट्रूथ एंड द प्रडिक्टेड वैल्यूज इन अ लूप और वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज द इन बिल्ट लाइब्रेरीज वेन फ्रॉम प्रोग्रामिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट द एक्यूरेसी स्कोर टू गेट द बेस्ट मॉडल ऑल दो दिस मॉडल इज वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इम्प्लीमेंट बट इट इज सुटेबल ओनली फॉर द केसेज वेन द इक्वल नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स बिलोंग टू ईच क्लास सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज वी आर हैविंग टू क्लासेज वन इज ऑफ सम पर्सन हैविंग पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट फॉर अ डिसीज एंड अदर्स आर हैविंग नेगेटिव एंड सपोज सिक्सटी आर सिक्सटी आर हैविंग पॉजिटिव एंड थर्ड फोर्टी आर हैविंग नेगेटिव स्कोर दैन इन दैट केस द एक्यूरेसी विल ड्रॉप टू अराउंड नाइन्टी सेवन परसेंट और सम बट मीन्स वी विल नॉट गेट हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्यूरेसी इट इज गुड टू यूज द एक्यूरेसी मेट्रिक वेन द टारगेट वेरिएबल क्लासेज इन द डेटा आर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली बैलेंसड इन विच सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड फोर्टी परसेंट रेशो इज देयर एज वी कैन सी टू गेट नाइन्टी सेवन परसेंट एक्यूरेसी so it is recommended not to use the accuracy measure when the target variable majority belongs to one class suppose there is a model for a disease prediction in which out of 100 people only 5 have a disease and 95 people don't have any disease so this in the, in such cases it is assumed that the number of persons without disease are more so in that case it is a paired prediction so the accuracy will drop to 95% in the model which is not at all acceptable and the next metric in the uh, category of classification performance metric is the confusion matrix so confusion matrix is nothing at it is a tabular representation of the prediction outcome of a binary classifier binary classifier means 0 or 1 fine Uh, so which is, it is used to describe the performance of a classification model on a set of de test data when the true values are known it is simple to implement but the terminology used in the matrix can become a confusion for having certain data like true positive true negative false positive false negative so all such values are there that are there to be understood so to understand confusion matrix in detail you can go with the other video that is available on the channel in the playlist itself so in the, today's lecture we are going to just do a briefing of this confusion matrix is to see uh, is dis discussed in detail in the other video fine and when we are talking of such categories we are having other felt categories like we are having area under curve precision scale and all such things so when we talk of uh, f1 score which is again a metric for classification f score or of uh, f1 score is a metric to evaluate a binary classification on the basis of predictions that are made for the positive classes it is calculated with the help of precision and recall it is a type of single score that represents both precision and recall and f1 score can be calculated as the harmonic mean of both precision and the recall assigning equal weights to each of them as you can see in this diagram it is using precision and recall so if we solve this we will get something like uh, this the the score to be minus uh, twice of uh, precision into scale uh, recall will go upwards and in the down we will have precision plus recall in this case Uh, in i have another video on precision and recall if you want to understand that in detail i suggest you to go uh, and watch that video and we have another important metric uh, area of curve that is one of the again important metrics in classification so we need to visualize the performance of classification model on charts and we can use the area under curve in such cases it is one of the popular and important metric for evaluating the performance of classification model in this we use roc that is receiver operating characteristic which represents to show the performance of classification model in at different threshold levels true positive rate and false positive rate plays the important role in this in which we calculate true positive rate as true positive divided by true plus positive plus false negative which will give the value for that okay so 
area under curve uh, we had discussed the formula which is based upon true positive rate and the false negative rate and here we are uh, calculating true positive rate and we also need a uh, true positive rate which is equal to true positive plus true positive divided by false negative and similarly if we talk of false positive rate which is false positive divided by false positive plus true negative values so here we calculate all these values so to calculate the value of any point in uh, roc we can evaluate the logistic regression model multiple times with different classification thresholds so area under curve in this is as its name suggests euc calculates a two dimensional area under the entire roc curve as shown in this figure so here true positive rate or two tpr is there here we are having false positive rate fpr and this complete area is known as AOC area under curve and there what is this curve known as this curve is known as ROC so uh, basically this AOC, AOC calculates the performance across all the threshold and provides an aggregate measure the value of AO, AOC ranges between 0 and 1 which means uh, a model with 100% wrong prediction will have accuracy around that will drop to over here fine and with 100% accuracy it will be like something like this with one value so I have a detailed video on area under curve you can go with that video we are not in this video we are not going to discuss uh, about this in very much detail now moving towards regression that is performance matrices for regression analysis so we know that regression is a supervised learning technique that aims to find the relationship between the dependent and the independent variable in which we say if we calculate something like this equal to bx plus c this means this x is my independent variable independent variable and this y is my dependent variable so this y dependent variable is calculated based on the independent variable and this regression represents the relationship between that a predictive regression model predicts a numeric and discrete value the metrics used for regression and are different from classification metrics it means we cannot use the accuracy metric to evaluate a regression model so instead we have regression model that is reported to follow the predictions in this the first one is mean absolute error so this mean absolute error also uh, in short known as MAE is one of the simplest matrix which means the absolute difference between actual and the predicted values where the absolute means are taking a number positive so here we say uh, we take an example of uh, linear regression where the model draws the best fit line between dependent and independent variables to, so in that case to measure mae or error prediction we need to calculate the difference between actual values and the predicted values so this is how we calculate that this is actual values and these are predicted values so we calculate the difference between these two which is coming as mee mean absolute error so the difference of these are added and it is divided by n and that is known as mean absolute error suppose uh, the sum value suppose value 1 2 3 we are having three values and we are having y and y dash which is here y is the actual value suppose this was 10 and calculated as 5 so suppose this was 5 calculated as 2 this was 6 calculated as 4 then the difference between two, two, these two is, uh, sorry, these three is 5, then 3, and then 2. So we take the sum of this, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 10. And total number of values are 3. So the value of n in this case is 3. So we got sum of y minus y of i dash, so which is 10. And this sum is to be divided by this n, so that is this. 
so in this case this is around 3.3 somewhere around 3 point something so in that case this is known as mean absolute error so this is how we calculate the mean absolute error the next is mean squared error so mean squared error or mse is one of the most suitable metrics for regression evaluation it measures the average of square differences between predicted values and the actual values given by the model since the mean squared errors are squared so in this case the difference is squared the only thing is here we simply take the sum of uh, sum of all the differences and here we calculate the differences and when we do the square of that so like in this case we uh, in this example we got the difference as 10 so here we will do 10 square so we got 100 for this uh, this part and then we divide this by 3 fine so if we can divide this we get 3 the 3 the 9 then 33 point something so this is mean squared error that is being calculated So this is due to the square differences, it penalizes small errors and hence it leads to overestimation of how bad the model is. MSE is much preferred metric compared to the other regression metrics as it is differentiable and hence it is considered as the better one and optimized one. The advantage of MSE is being that it is easier to compute the gradient whereas the in case of MAE the calculation of gradient was quite difficult but it is more suitable and uses a gradient function very properly so we take the square and we calculate the values then we have another metric and that is r squared score also known as r2 so after mae and msc we have the third one that is r squared score so R squared so score is also known as coefficient of determination which is another popular metric used for regression model evaluation. The R squared matrix enable us to compare out model with a constant baseline to determine the performance of the model. So to select the constant baseline we need to take the mean of the data and draw the line of between the mean the r squared error will always be less than or equal to without concerning then the values that are too large or too small so the formula in this case mse of the model and then divided by mse for the baseline we take mean squared error value of the, for the model and for the baseline and we that subtract uh, their ratio from 1 and we get the R squared score. After this, we have the next uh, matrix that is adjusted R squared also known as AR2. So, this R A2, let us discuss the formula first. It is equal to n minus 1 divided by n minus k minus 1 into 1 minus r square the root where n simply stands for number of observations in this case number of observations and k here denotes independent variables Fine. So, the total number of independent variables is being denoted by k. So, adjusted R square is the improved version of R squared error. R squared has limitation uh, to improvement of a square on increasing the terms. Even though the model is not improving, it may mislead the data scientist in this case. To overcome the issue of R squared, adjusted R squared is used, which is always show a lower value than the R square. So it is because it adjusts the values of increasing predictors and shows improvement in the real improvement. So that's all about the performance metrics. So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, you do subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any of the important information. So thank you.